Hi everyone. Today in this video, let us discuss about side effects of glucocorticoids in easy way. What are the glucocorticoids? Glucocorticoids are mainly used as anti-inflammatory agents as well as immunosuppressants. The natural glucocorticoids are the cortisone and hydrocortisone. Apart from these natural corticosteroids, we have so many types of glucocorticoids. For example, prednisone, prednisolone, all these are ending with the suffix son or solone. Similarly, if you have the other steroids like betamethasone, dexamethasone, beclomethasone, and fludrocortisone, which is having somewhat mineralocorticoid activity, mometasone, fluticasone, which are somewhat selective towards the respiratory system, tramsenolone, and few of the glucocorticoids are also ending with the suffix sonide, like cyclosonide and budesonide. All these are the different types of glucocorticoids, and they are acting like anti-inflammatory agents as well as immunosuppressants. But what are the side effects of these glucocorticoids? These drugs can affect the various organs in our body. So today in this video, let us see how easily we can remember the side effects of glucocorticoids. Side effects of glucocorticoids can be classified mainly into two types where the glucocorticoids are going to increase the effects or decrease the effects. For example, when these drugs are used for a longer period, they can increase the glucose levels within the plasma. Similarly, they can also increase the lipid levels and they can also produce a fluid retention which may result in the edema. Similarly, glucocorticoids act as immunosuppressants so they can suppress the immunity resulting in the increased risk of infections and intraocular pressure and intracranial pressure are also elevated with the glucocorticoids. So these are the various side effects of glucocorticoids where there is elevated effect is observed and on few of the systems glucocorticoids produce the suppressor effect. One of the important one they are going to reduce the growth of the children and they also reduce the immunity which may result in few of the infections and they can also reduce the muscle strength producing some muscle weakness and bone strength is also reduced by glucocorticoids. In this way the effects of glucocorticoids can be easily classified into these two types. So glucocorticoids produce various number of side effects which is not easy to remember. So how to remember these side effects in easy way? Let us take a small code that is how GC is hero. So this is the code by which we can easily remember the side effects of glucocorticoids. So here except the adjunct is every letter indicates a side effect of glucocorticoid. And glucocorticoids are generally termed as GC. So we can remember this code how GC is hero. Now let us decode and let us see what are the important side effects of glucocorticoids. How GC hero? Here H indicates they are producing hyperglycemia. O indicates they are going to produce osteoporosis. W indicates they are going to produce a wasting. And G indicates they produce a glaucoma. C indicates they are going to produce a cataract. And H indicates hirsutism. E indicates edema. R indicates retarded growth and O indicates oral thrush. So these are the important side effects of glucocorticoids which we can remember as a code how GC is hero. So now let us go with the discussion of the different side effects produced by glucocorticoids. First one is a hyperglycemia. Glucocorticoids are going to increase the glucose levels and this elevated glucose levels may precipitate in acute diabetic mellitus in the patients. So particularly when these glucocorticoids are used for a longer period, glucose level should be carefully monitored. And in those patients who are already having the diabetes, these drugs should be carefully given. Apart from the glucose levels, glucocorticoids can also increase the lipid levels resulting in the hyperlipidemia and they can also increase the water retention. Second side effect is the osteoporosis. Glucocorticoids are one category of drugs which increase the risk of osteoporosis because these drugs are going to inhibit the osteoblast activity which is actually required for the bone growth and deposition. At the same time, glucocorticoids are going to promote the osteoclast activity, the apoptosis of the bones. So because of these two activities, glucocorticoids are going to reduce the bone density which may result in the osteoporosis. 
third side effect is the wasting. Glucocorticoids can inhibit few other factors like the insulin-like growth factor, IGF. This factor is required for the protein synthesis. So when this factor is inhibited, it may result in the retardation of the growth. So these drugs can reduce the protein synthesis as well as they can increase the proteolysis. Because of this, they can produce the muscle atrophy, which may result in the muscle weakness. So muscle wasting is the another important side effect of glucocorticoids. So here the first three terms HOW indicates hyperglycemia, osteoporosis and wasting. Fourth one is a glaucoma and cataract which is indicated by the terms GC. Both of these effects are related to the eye. So glucocorticoids can increase the intraocular pressure which may increase the risk of glaucoma. And these drugs can also interact with few of the lens proteins. And when these lens proteins are going to be covalently bind with glucocorticoids, they can produce a destabilization resulting in a cloudy area behind the lens, which may produce some steroidal cataracts. So glaucoma and cataract are the two important side effects that can be produced by glucocorticoids by acting on the eye. Fifth one, hirsutism. Again, these drugs can increase the unwanted hair growth, which may result in the hirsutism and they can also affect the thickness of the skin. These drugs can produce some thinning of the skin and unwanted hair growth. All these are related to the side effects of glucocorticoids. Sixth one is the edema. All we have seen glucocorticoids can increase the fluid retention. So they can produce the retention of sodium as well as retention of water, which may increase the swelling of the legs as well as weight gain. So these are the two important symptoms we can observe with the treatment of glucocorticoids. And they can also produce an unequal distribution of the fat which may produce some buffalo humps in the patients. But interestingly, these drugs can also be used in the treatment of edema. Since they are going to affect the transport of the sodium, these drugs can reduce the entry of the sodium into the brain. Therefore, they can reduce the edemic conditions within the brain. That's why glucocorticoids can be used in the treatment of cerebral edema. So these drugs mainly produce a peripheral edema, which may result in the swelling of the legs as well as increased body weight. Seventh one, retardation of the growth. This is particularly observed in the children. These drugs can reduce the growth hormone secretion, which is required for the increase in the bone length and growth of the tissues. As we have discussed before, these drugs also reduce the activity of insulin-like growth factor 1. And because of these two actions, glucocorticoids can reduce the vascular development as well as the bone growth, which may result in the retardation of the growth in the children. This action of glucocorticoids is because of the suppression of HP axis, hypothalamus, pituitary and adrenal axis, which results in the reduced release of the growth hormone secretion. But these side effects can be observed in the children after six months of treatment where the HPA axis is going to be suppressed resulting in the decreased pulsatile release of growth hormone. Eighth one is the oral thrush. Glucocorticoids act like immunosuppressants. Their main action is to inhibit the TH2 lymphocytes which are required for the development of immunity. When these TH2 lymphocytes are going to be reduced, they can suppress the immunity resulting in the immunosuppression. So when the immunity is suppressed, it may result in the increased uh, infections. So when these drugs are given orally by inhalation route, they can increase the fungal growth within the esophagus, resulting in the oral candidiasis. So glucocorticoids produce a oral candidiasis, which we call oral thrush. This may result in the hoarseness and soreness in the voice, along with some slurred speech in the patients. So this side effect is particularly observed with the inhalation route of administration. So these are the side effects which are indicated by the word hero. H indicates hirsutism, E indicates edema, R indicates retarded growth and O indicates oral thrush. In this way the side effects of glucocorticoids can be remembered as how GC is hero. Miscellaneous side effects. We can also observe few of the other side effects related with the glucocorticoids. Particularly, they can produce a peptic ulcers because of the damage to the gastric mucosa. And they can also produce some depression, psychosis and euphoria, which are the central side effects that can be observed with the glucocorticoids. So that's about the side effects of glucocorticoids, which can be easily remembered by the code. 
how this is hero h indicates hyperglycemia o indicates osteoporosis w indicates wasting gc indicates glaucoma and cataract hero indicates hirsutism edema retarded growth and oral thrush so that's for today hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please subscribe to our channel share this video with your friends post your comments in the comment box thank you for watching this video